There you are. Are we sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. Welcome. Well, it's getting too near summer solstice for my liking. But we'll have Katrina with us very soon. We're all looking forward to that. And in September we'll have our sister back again, Marielle. What a wonderful time. Okay, what am I going to talk about? Do I talk about a doofus wife that gets up at 8 o'clock in the morning and thinks it's 10? I won't go back to bed. The only doofus around here is you. See? <laughs> Or do I talk about the great time they're going to have on Tuesday when they have to go up the north for Adrian to have his kick about? So, I think it'll, it'll be a wonderful week. The weather here, by the way, is roasting. It's really warm. Just thought I'd rub that in because Britain's getting bad weather, America's getting bad weather, but we're getting lovely, lovely weather. Now, I believe there was a query that Dark Raven wanted me to mention. I can't think what it was now. It's gone at me noggin. But... I will mention this for, I had a query, why is Krishna blue? Interesting. Why are Africans black? Why are Chinese yellow? For a start off, the forearm version of Krishna, it's an actual fact. He was not a god as such. He was an alien. And that's their pigmentation. That's all I can say. But I found an interesting, something very interesting. Um, most of these beings have four arms. But in Buddhism, we talk of Maitreya. Maitreya has four arms. If some of you have looked at some of the old pictures of Kuan Yin has four arms, these are all from the same race, evidently. There has been influx of visitors, of star people, and I think governments are getting a little bit worried. <laughs> so they should be. It could be a nasty, and it could be not very beneficial to mankind. But there again, our governments are not very beneficial to mankind. They cripple us and starve us and try and poison us. But I want, to, what are we? We're like drones, slaves, to feed the great hierarchy. Well, now it's about time the slaves kicked off those shackles. It's about time you realise you can work with this. Freedom is a state of mind, not a state of being. Um, that was said many, a long, long time ago, and it's quite true, it is. It's just a complete state of mind. Uh, who went to Tipperth, love? Oh, Mariel. Oh, Mariel, you're doing fine. Don't be knocking yourself out and don't be kicking yourself. You're doing great. And you've got more patience than any of us here, I'm telling you now. But you're doing fabulous, fantastic. 
just try and get get yourself into a relaxed state of mind. Everything out there, there's a lot of things out there that are designed to make you lose your cool. There's a lot of things out there that will try and send you into panic. Whereas if you go into panic, it will immediately block psychic ability. I'm still shocked at what the British government are doing to the people. I am absolutely shocked. It's going to increase more homeless people because they can't afford to pay the exorbitant fees of this so-called house tax, which I think is atrocious. But now we're, I'm getting away from spiritual things, so forgive me. I, I get sidetracked. It's old age, you know. So, what, what is really happening? Why, what are the spheres of, of the Sephiroth? They're astral planes, basically. And it's not one planet or one little globe. It's many. But we were talking about Krishna. Far away. If you can go as far as you can in space, where the galaxies stop, you'll come against another strange galaxy. And this is where he resides. But I'm not sure I, whether it's on this plane of existence or on another plane of existence, but he does reside there. Normally he has nothing to do with Earth. There's nothing here which can draw him to Earth. But, sometimes you'll get one, maybe two people on this Earth that can call him. He is only attracted by pure love. Nothing else will draw him. And he can be drawn to this planet, I, I feel sure. But it's a very rare thing to happen. And it's his brother she's seen, not Krishna. Well, Balarama. Yeah. Uh, Balarama, it could be, because Balarama dresses the same way as Lord Krishna. Um, so that, it, that is quite possible. He even has the peacock feathers. So, you know... He is around the earth, is he? Eh? Krishna's brother is around the earth. Oh yeah, he is. Um, a lot is happening. Remember, these are aliens from another another galaxy that's many, many light years away. No, and man prefer, used to call them gods and all the rest of it. But they are alien. And this is the story right from the very beginning. What man calls gods are not gods at all, but the aliens that were here. We have never been alone. I've heard the expression, are we alone? No, we've never been alone, not really. They've always been here. They've been called angels, they've been called demons, they've been called gods. Don't mess with that, Adrian. All right, Dad. The ones that are called angels are big with blonde hair. That's right. They're very good looking with wings. I haven't seen the female version yet. <laughs> no, they used to be naughty with the humans. That's right. So uh, they were banned, or not unless it's a big um, class 
there's a big event of disaster, then they're allowed to help out. And of course, the 21st is my nasty day. It's Big Day's birthday. Shut up, you. Birthday, <laughs> no. Yes. Though, after saying that, Dark Raven one got me my little pressy, and it's lovely, and I use it. Um, Adrian did a job on it for me. And he did a good job too. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm delighted. Now I have two e-readers. What I haven't got on one, I've got on the other. So I'm quite, I'm quite happy about that. Right. Now, a moan. No, we don't want recompense from Mary Ella. Hello, are you, are you listening? Naughty sissy. Our life is more spiritual than what, what many of you realise. We, we are a magical family. We live by magic. We exist by magic. Magic is a word of oh, that I use very loosely. Like a cult. What does the word occult mean? It means a science that is hidden. Interesting. Well, that's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with the science. We're, we're dealing with energies. Um, do you know, I've forgotten the bloody name of it now. Ah. We're dealing with very minute particles of energy. Tachyon. So it is a science, whichever way we like to look at it. The masters, our spiritual masters, are always with us. But I was listening to a very interesting, um, oh, what do you call it, interview with Yuri Geller. Very interesting and eye-opening. This man looks about 40 and he's, in his, he's nearly in his 70s. He is a fantastic man. He is a true psychic. And he has the same grouse as I have. There are many out there who claim to be psychic and they can do this and they can do that and they can do something else. There's no, no way are they psychic. They'll read your tarot, you pay your bobs, they'll read it. They'll give you mystic spells. You pay your bobs, they give it to you. These are not psychics. Come on. 14 folks. minutes have passed. These are complete charlatans. Don't be caught by it. Some run courses and people flock to these courses. But all they want is your bobs. They've got as much knowledge as what my kitchen table has. Okay, folks. Little Buffalo has just told me that I've come to the end of my talk. Be safe out there. Look after each other. Namaste. I'm Shanti. <laughs>